What is that, YouTube? <laughs> what is that, YouTube? All right, welcome everyone to episode. Um, Jamie, what episode is this? Would you call Jamie? Jamie? Eight, yeah, 83. Jamie. 83. Thank you, Jamie. This is episode 83. Jamie. Oh, I think that's uh, Joe Rogan's guy, right? Oh, oh okay, okay. Come on, yeah, guys. Bro. I don't want to. I said, I, said nah, I think that's Joe Rogan's nah. guy. From the top, from the top, from the top. <laughs> I don't watch Joe Rogan. So. What? That was good. Episode 83, right? We're going to be talking about The Boys, Season 2, Episode 7. And here with me today, I have Ariel, Jr., and Mark, and me, Brim. No more villain names, because <laughs> we're all friends. <laughs> we're not villains anymore, guys. We're good people. I have glasses on. I am chilling, a nice chilling guy. With, chilling with good people. Chilling, bro. <laughs> chilling with good. There, there's, some, there's something so comforting about seeing Keanu Reeves wearing glasses. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's like because he's such a badass. That's yeah. like okay, he's wearing glasses now, so he's like you he's know less tempered. Yeah, he's sophisticated. He's not. It's not that he's not a badass. He's just not like killing people, you know. Right. He's wearing glasses. Right. Don't fuck with my dog. <laughs> well, <laughs> watching oh, the next John Wick movie, he has he has glasses on the entire time. It's like, yeah, I needed these. He's just fucking murking <laughs> people. Don't fuck with my dog. Facts, yeah. but yo, I mean, we keep saying, well, let's give a, a, a special shout out to our guy Eunice who can't be here today. He's with the fam bam. He's spending time hey. with the family, which is always important, especially in times like these, times like today. So good for you. Good for your family, Eunice. Uh, um, but we're going to break, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Well, we're going to break down this episode, and I think we can all agree that, like, every episode that goes by, we're like, what the fuck? Yeah, it just keeps getting better and better. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just want to insert uh, fucking uh, the dude from Doom Patrol just saying, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> There's yeah, like Cliff. Yeah. Cliff. Cliff, yeah. yeah, yeah. What the uh, fuck? I thought Atrium was going What the fuck is say, going on? I yeah. just need those. I need those reactions every week, every Friday. Yeah. And that, that, that's basically us. That's the audience because yep. I, it, it's so much the process. So we start off the episode. We get this guy who we see him doing the same routine over and over again. And in the background, we have Stormfront always giving like her speeches to the press. And what I like about this um, is although, you know, a lot of people haven't really touched base on it or criticized it, like, this is a political show in a sense. Not, uh, yeah, you, you, in, in, a, in, a, in a satire way, right? It's kind uh, of like relevant, you know? To what's it's kind of relevant, relevant to today. All right, let's, let's just talk it's about the, the whole, you know, it's not MAGA anymore. It's, uh, how do we say it? It's CASA. Casa. America safe again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, That's yeah. Their or make America safe again. So it's Massa. No, it's keep America safe again. Dude, Casa Massa? <laughs> I thought it was Massa. Oh. I thought it was Massa and Casa. I thought it was both. But anyway, either way. No, yeah. So either way. She, she dropped the bomb. So, with the, yeah. Either way, it fucking hears what's going on right now. Yeah. Immigrants pouring in over the border. Yeah, instead of su- they're called them super terrorists. Super terrorists. Super terrorists. Yeah. Super terrorists. Right. So then, yeah, you have this guy who, you know, is listening to Stormfront every day. And then, like, he gets so attached to it that, like, it basically becomes his personality. <laughs> Sound familiar? Um, <laughs> and then he fucking goes off the wall crazy and shoots a guy at a convenience store because, you know, he thinks he's a super terrorist. Uh, a super terrorist, excuse me. And yes. he wasn't a fucking terrorist. He just, he just, mur- he just murdered somebody. Yeah. Um, so the funny thing about that is I actually thought, because it was weird, when I saw on his uh, screen, right, his computer screen, it said like Target Acquire, or it said something like that, to the uh, congresswoman, right? And I thought when, at the end of the episode, um, you know, Mark and I were talking for a bit, and I originally thought he was the guy who was blowing these people's heads up. They just didn't like reveal that yet. Mm. But then, yeah, afterwards, I was just like, I was like, ah, that that's you know, I retracted my statement. I was like, that doesn't really make much sense. So, I'm wrong on on that front. I I thought that's why they introduced him in the first place, but I think they just added that there just to show the power that Stormfront and her speeches have on you know the public, the general public. 
and how it's about to be a shit show and how it affects people and yeah in real life also <laughs> yo i love how homeland is like who is the real heroes <laughs> you, you. <laughs> so oh. like, this so, guy that's his so fucking brother, catchphrase brother, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Dude, rewatching the entire rewatching the entire series the last two weeks, I realized how many times he's fucking says that. You guys yeah. are real heroes. <laughs> you guys are. It's like he's okay, such a piece of shit, dude. It's like it's so. It really is them so together worse. is just a shit yeah, show. They're it the really worst is. complete shit show. And then, I love how Junior was like when we were talking about Stormcut. He was like, he was like, she's she sucks, dude. She's the worst. <laughs> Shout out to her though. Shout out to the actress. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the actress. Like no, for real. But, she's great. She's a great actress. Yeah, she's doing. And and when um, you know that scene. Oh my god! And then we gotta talk about this now because there was the scene uh, shortly after that where they're you know they're doing their um their speech and then she sees the baby, and then she's like, oh, it looks like my little girl, and then I'm just like, F- I already knew where that was going. I was like, fuck. Yeah. When Homelander was like. I have a surprise for you. I want yeah, to show yeah. you something. He wants I'm like, to, fuck he wants to give her you. To make her happy. And, and that's yep. exactly, that's, yep. And that's exactly what like we're he trying forgot. to do. He's like, I thought he was going to say, I'm going to give you a baby. But the now, word, right? Wait, he's, he's like, he's like he basically, wait, I could have just showed is. you my kid. He basically is. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, and Mark, you, you low-key called it. You low-key called it two two episodes ago where, or like three episodes ago where you were saying that Becca could be in real trouble now because... Now, so so what happened here? We they take him away basically, and now like he's tied to his mom. He's like, I hate you. Like they sh- they showed the kid the truth, right? They showed him everything. Like you live in a fake world. He's like, you're fake. He was just fucking violent. He's like, this is fake. My shoes is fake. These ain't these ain't real Jordans. His like, shoes, some fake ass whack. Jordans. This house, <laughs> whack. whack. This neighborhood, <laughs> fake. Whack. It's fake. You gotta change my new step. Fake. My new stepmother. She's tired as fuck. <laughs> But mm. oh, I need some water after that. But yeah, it goes back now. It's like, damn, Becca's like about to be like fucked <laughs> because if he, he hates her, no, she has no bargaining chips. Right? There's nothing. And I and at first when she went up to Homeland, there was like, hey, like please, I'm begging you, just keep him here. And he sort of agreed to it. I was like, oh, he's being like sympathetic a little bit. Because she was like, I know deep down somewhere you love your kid. And I was like, okay, Homelander, like, I see you. And then he said, nope, stupid. Uh, I, like, think, he's I think Stormfront <laughs> changed his mind. I think, exactly. he was, I think he was serious. Oh, you think he was at first? Cause, okay. Yeah, because he, he also was being honest and he was saying how, like, um, so I, I wrote it down. I was like, oh, Homelander kind of, like, he kind of compared himself to Ryan and was like, I don't want him to be raised the same way I was raised. So That's he's kind of, like, He was like, he's wearing bars. He was, he was self aware. Bars, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. And he, so, and, oh, sorry. No, nah, go ahead, go ahead. All right. He, like, so I think what happened is like Stormfront, because remember when Stormfront said, oh, sh- he'll have a mother. Like, he'll still have a mother. Like, right. Saying, oh, obviously, because you probably probably going to be the fuck. Show that. Exactly. So, what, what did exactly. y'all go talk about? And exactly. then Homelander being a simp, a <laughs> simp lander was just like, yeah. oh, but, yeah, this is, what, this is what we talked about. And she's Big like, head, bendejo. <laughs> Oh, Sim Sim Blender, Blender, bro. bro! There you go. Exactly. Yeah, it's that was like. Uh, there's no going back from it. There's no going back from it anymore. Like he, he passed the point where he was just like, "Yo, this, this pool right now is like too good. Like, you know, like this, this is all me right now." But she, I think so. Tying into that, and I think the overall thing that's going on here is because <clears throat> Ryan is the first natural born um, soup. I think she's just trying to use him for his DNA to find that perfect variable to have a uh, compound V uh, stabilized because it hasn't worked so far. And, but she's probably like, Oh, like he's a natural born. Maybe with his DNA, with his blood, we could do something with it. Do you, and do you, look at Mark, Mark, Mark's about to spit. Go Mark. Mark Mark's like, Oh, I'm about I, to I got it. something to build <laughs> on, top it, it, on top of that. On top of that. So the, like so, like let's say you're right, like like to take his blood or whatever. Like, what happens if, if I feel like Homeland is gonna find out and be like, nah. Like well, I feel like he's me? actually gonna. You use like, my son, right? What? That kind of shit. So then I think next episode, uh, if if it comes out, if that if that prediction is true, I, I still don't think it will come out next episode. This is gonna lead into season three. This you don't be think a whole so? Thing in season three. I yeah. don't know, man. I don't think they're gonna tie the knot on this just yet. I no, think I'm not gonna uh, finish. I think I think someone's dying next. Like, oh, 
I think her it's name Ryan. is Queen Maeve. <laughs> no, I, I think it's Ryan. Ryan's getting club. No, nope. because that was my prediction be, too. Remember? You know, no, I do. Why? I do remember that. You, you know why? Best. Because we need something Goodness. to because because we don't want another season repeating of Homelander just being nefarious and just being a piece of shit. We need we need to raise the stakes now. Get him over Whoa. the edge. No, we talked about that too, though. If he goes over the edge, who the fuck's going to stop him? How are they going to keep doing seasons if no one can stop Homelander? This dude's a beast. This dude is... Public public opinion is the only thing that's stopping him from killing everybody. Yeah, that's the thing. So if he throws public opinion out, there's not really a show. There's Yeah, I still think he's the strongest. Like, Stormfront's there. I still think Homeland is stronger than her. But I could, I could oh, be wrong. Yeah. She could, she could be holding back. I mean, <laughs> we, she hasn't been holding back. But in terms of like her vulnerability to Homeland, like she, we see that she sort of like comes down when when he's talking to her. But right. like she yeah. could just be bullshitting. Like we've been talking about this whole time. So we don't know. We really don't know the the extent of her power. And then we also have Cindy, who, uh, in my opinion, is the one who's blowing up these people's heads. It's the um, only one that we can, the, like, the most, if you had to do, like, a process of elimination, like, she makes more sense. Because just the way you saw her exploding that dude up, that's how all the heads look like when they're popping. Yeah. So, yeah, but, but she did it to a whole body. That's the thing. Yeah, she's doing it to a whole body. So why would so, she specify to only heads? In now, there, yeah. Okay, now, th- let me, who do you guys think it is? I think, I think it's Ender. Ender. What if it's the <laughs> church? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> drop, but, drop but, a bomb on that one. Oh. But what would the church Might be a reach. Might be a reach. Well, what, but what, okay, so go ahead. I think it could be the church. I don't know where they're going. Right. I just have a feeling like that, that'll be like kind of wild. Like they're low key trying to, maybe they're trying to keep Vought. So they Alive. don't want them to be like compromised, but at the same yeah. time, they want to take over. Because in a way, they need Vought in order to, you know, have a pull in, you know, the monopoly that's going on. Yeah, in so they're using world. A-Train and the Deep to get them back. They're going to be their ends. I don't know. But why would, so why, so th- then I asked myself, why would, sh- why would the church explode? <laughs> the, yeah, her head. Like, I don't, what was, what did she figure she, well, out? Well, she got, she, she was, was getting she was close to liberty. Yeah, she's which we figured out who it was. But then that, that the thing is like, why haven't they been targeting the boys? Exactly. Then that would. Yeah. So, that would... I mean, okay, so we have three guesses so far, right? The church, Edgar, Cindy. Oh, right. why Edgar? Okay. So nah, I was about to break it down. So oh, Mark, Mark is <laughs> foot behind the line with this one. So, every time they're about to get a step up, and it's not even like it's an obvious step up. Like it's in the news. Oh, they, they got this or like everyone knows, Oh, they stole compound V or something like that. It's like when they just are about to get that step up or discover how to that shit get a step me up. Off. That shit pisses me the fuck Boom, off. Boom. Head explosion. You know, Rainer was like, Oh, <laughs> you just literally the missing piece. Boom. Head explode. Literally. They every time nobody expected. What trial. Roll in. Don Falcone is about boom, to go into boom, trial. Exactly. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Just start. Yeah. yeah. So what I think is like, I think Edgar has powers because also whenever Homeland, when Homelander was pressing him, he was not scared. He was not backing a, down. Well, it I have like, another theory for that. And counter theory. Um, a counter like, theory. It's your theory. It just makes it just makes <laughs> sense to me because like he knows the most about everything. Because while the only people that would kill Rainer is someone who already knew about Liberty. Who knew about okay. Liberty? Edgar and Liberty. <laughs> Nobody yeah. else knew about Liberty at that point. Perfect. So like, yeah, I I just don't know. I like who like he has the but most to gain from how, my, all of this. Either my he's, thing with that, ahead, I'm sorry yeah. to cut you off. My yeah, thing go, with go. that though is that episode where he sent Black Noir to you know take care of the boys. Like that. That's my only thing. It's like he already knows about the boys, so why wouldn't he kind of? Especially Butcher, who says he has evidence of Billy's, uh, I'm sorry, of Becca's, um, like, son. You know, why would he sort of, you know, be like, I bet. So we got to blow these dudes' heads off because, you know, they, they fucked the, up. They had the chance. Right. They had a chance to kill him right there and then. Um, but the, re- the reason I don't think it's Edgar and the reason um, 
I, it, it, Edgar has another story arc. I think Black Noir is a clone of Edgar. So we figured we figured out that it's it's because you know it has that theory that's in the comics that Black Noir is um, Homelander's you know, Homelander's clone. So in case Homelander got too crazy, Black Noir was there to be like, "I right, I'm about to sit your little ass Keep down." Keep him in check, right? I mean, we saw when Maeve pulled Noir's mask, you know, it was a black dude. It was um, Nathan Mitchell, um, the actor who, who's playing him. Obviously, his face was fucked up from the burns, probably from the first episode. Um, yeah. So that's still, like, recovering. But Or that's why he just hides his face. Or Right, exactly. Um, oh, fun fact. He's sorry. allergic to... Um, Almond Joy. <laughs> he's allergic to tree nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Tree nuts, <laughs> yeah. Um, right. So, oh, by the way, I don't think he's dead because I know a lot of people probably like, wait, I don't think they're going to kill Black Noir off like that. He probably got his EpiPen or, you know, something happened. That's wild. But, yeah. So, yeah. So, I, lo- I love how they, they tie in, like, the Fresca and Almond Joys from previous episodes, like, here now. We'll get to that in a second, but I just want to finish my, my theory real quick. But, yeah. So, I was telling Brian this where, in a way, right, that scene where Edgar's talking to Butcher through... Um, Black Noir, it could just, uh, again, this could be a reach, but it could just be a little Easter egg hinting at, oh, this is, you know, a cloned Edgar. Because, um, you know, I, I think he has the most power in the company and we don't know yet. And we haven't seen him in a few episodes. So it's just like, you know, he's going to be in this one. And you know, a lot of shit is going to drop. So I, I think it's a clone of, of Stan. Um, right. And... And that's why he right, like you said. That's why when Homeland in the press him, he's like, "Bro, like, I'm, I'm not, not scared. You're not, go, you're not gonna scare like, me because I, I could just, I could just call homeboy here right now. My, I could call myself here right now and fuck you up. My, my, my counter to your counter about why my, why my theory is wrong. <laughs> uh, I was because he wants to, to, he wants to remain secret about his fucking power. He's not gonna go out like, God forbid, one of them get either a gets away. And then knows that he has these this fucking ability. Two, if like, he, what is he gonna say? Oh yeah, I'm I'm just gonna take a trip over here to this like fucking uh, little suburb house. You know what I mean? Like it's like like in the middle of a business day. Like I mean, obviously it's a business day. Like I'm like you know I might be reaching, but I'm just saying like he he wants to keep these powers a secret because it's such a trump card. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah, oh, but sending, gotta, sending, gotta, sending gotta, Black Noir wasn't a wrong choice. It, he had him dead to rights, but he, oh, okay, he, yeah. he had proof on him. He had evidence that that his that Homelander's son was a uh, you know that Homelander had DK, a son. DK, he had the pictures. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't think he had pictures either. But he, uh, he also he is the um, pretty much head of Vault and controls their money. So there's also that, like you said, like the public opinion, right? Like, he can easily just fuck Homeland over, and that's why he's not scared of Homelander. So we got to also think about that. Mm-hmm. Damn. So we, we got a lot, a lot to think about. Like, there's gonna be so much shit. And guys, just for the record, we're having we're we're doing a reaction uh, video to the entire episode. So uh, make sure to tune in for that because the finale, right? Yeah, the finale. Yeah, exactly. Because it, it it's gonna be this wild. This Friday, from, from start to finish, it's gonna be fucking wild. This but Friday. yeah, c- continue on to this episode. Um, I, I think a lot of it uh, also had to do with um, fathers in a sense. Daddy issues. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh my God, Butcher and Homelander, right? Yeah. Um, and then Butcher like relating to Homelander like he did to Huey in the other episode. Remember? I cannot believe that we're relating these two, but it's a thing. <laughs> it's actually, it actually makes sense. It, is. it makes sense. Yeah. And yeah, because we had on one sense Billy with with his pops, who's dying of cancer, right? His mom Jeta's head was like, "Oh, your your dad passed, like Jesus. come to me." <laughs> and then she was like, "Yo, my fault. He's right here. Like, can I just talk it out?" So you could tell. And then like um, we find out that Billy's you know brother committed suicide. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And so like it's kind of like that's kind of like oh shit like, and they had their moment. And he he tells Billy, he's like, I made you who you are, basically, because you think you're the baddest motherfucker alive. And not for nothing, yo, this episode, I'm like, Billy is the fucking shit. Like, yeah, this dude don't give a fuck. 
He's like, and he was dead serious too. Like he wasn't bluffing. Like he was, I will yeah. kill your daughter. I will go kill your sons. Yeah, I'll kill everybody wives. in fucking yeah, like the whole dead. Vogelbaum family dies today. Yeah. And Vogelbaum was, was not taking bluffing, that bluff. Bro. Nah, hell no. Nah, nah. nah. Billy, Billy with the shit. House. He's nah, he's but, the guy. Yeah, like you said, like uh, you know, he pushed him hard so that he makes him tough now, right? And then when Vogelbaum was explaining that to Butcher about how Holman Yo, used to be a yeah. sweet kid. And he's right. like, but I didn't want that from him. I wanted him to be the strongest man in the world. Right. So I had to push him. I had to. Um, exactly. Even though he didn't want it, it was for me. And he so said it. So We it's got like, terrible it's parenting fucking, advice. Yeah. And then right there, I feel like it clicked in Butcher's head because he just had left his dad. I told him basically the same thing. And he, he probably realized the same shit. He's like, fuck this guy. Exactly. He's like, I don't want to be similar to this guy. Yeah. Like, if I had powers, like, would I be similar to Homelander? Like, would I be? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, because he he called him a monster. He called his dad called Billy a monster, and like, Billy started like choking him out, and he's like, "You see, he's like, it, it's it's not it's not me. It's, this is you. This is who you are." And I was like, "Damn, like he he wilding out right now." But yeah, it, exactly that. Like, um, the 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 parallels between them is insane. Even though they are, you know, different in terms of, you know, one is a huge, huge, huge piece of shit. Yeah. The other one is, small in a way, <laughs> right. <laughs> one big, one very a large little, dookie, a, a, a lesser piece of shit. A little boschina. <laughs> yeah. But nonetheless, a shit's a shit, right? So there you go. <laughs> but then, on the other hand, we have mothers, Annie's mother, who is just dumb, Oh and my God. she's just in that coffee house, bro. I was like, yeah, oh. I've been there, man. and then black. She's like, I cleared came. it with them already. I was like, oh, like, we, like, no, we're I good to go. Them. Like we're good, honey. Like what do you mean? Who's coming for us? Uh, and then you know, Starlight's like, yo, dead ass right now. But you could tell like their their relationship is redeemable because. Yeah. So she gets locked up. And we get that conversation between Homelander and Stormfront where Homelander's like, no, 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 like, let's kill her off now. And I like that because I'm like, yes, like, he has the right way of thinking because he knows that one way or another, she's going to fucking break out. So he's like, no, yeah, let's fucking... Yeah, Huey's going to... And this shit now. Gonna come. Yeah. And Stormfront's like, no. And that ties into where she was like, I have bigger plans for her in a previous episode. But, Remember that? So, yeah, yeah, well, I wonder yeah, what that she, is. Uh... But she actually made a valid point as well, though, as to why to keep her alive. Because yeah, I've one one target that like builds a fan like builds a base, you know what I mean, for everybody to hate and to like focus in on, while they can go do their little side shit, you know, oh, and do whatever right. they want. And, and mentioning that on the side, the they, they, yeah, they, they it's, said it's it. A the great, public it's knows. A great, uh, the public thing. knows she's a tra she's a traitor now. Sorry. Yeah, right. so we're exactly. she's a, she's officially a part of the boys. She's no longer a seven member. As of last episode. I mean, right. we traffic. saw it coming, obviously. Great traffic. But <laughs> yeah. But another thing that, that you know, I was, I was watching um, another reviewer, and I'm going to just shout him out because, you know, I know Mark is going to hate me, and the uh -huh. majority are going to hate me, but I'm going to say, I'm going to have to shout out my source. No, I'm going to have to shout him out. Shout you out know, to he, knows, he knows who he is. AKA uh, Emergency Hustle. He already knows, bro. But he brought up a good point that I didn't even think of. Like, Starlight's powers... Are like the complete, like the, he she could take Stormfront's powers if she wanted to, because of how her power is a source. How, yeah, she could be her source of power. She could drain her powers. So I think that's why Stormfront wants her, because I think she wants to drain her powers. Like get like she needs to get rid of her powers, because she might be the only one that can really truly stop her. So just have Homelander snap her neck, and then you're good. I mean, yeah, that's like literally the solution. Or just turn uh, your phone know. off. Again, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> right, because that remember that turn episode your flashlight where, off, yeah. where, where Butcher was like, "Wow, your fucking power you sucks." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, why is Eunice calling? Pick up the phone to Eunice. See what he wants. Yeah, put him on speaker. For the for those just listening, not watching. What do you want, calls. bro? We're in the middle of recording. Yeah, we're in the podcast. Yeah, now. like, what do you? We're doing? live right now. Can I, can I just say something? Somebody put my, put my voice to the mic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you got my mic. What? Say it. Uh, uh, suck uh, my dick from the back. Oh, uh, there you guys, there you guys go. Our newest member, Eunice. This, this, this will be the last appearance he makes on our podcast. 
Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he's, he's mad bored at the bodega bro oh <laughs> yo go pet god, the cat dude. yo wait yo, you just join the call yo, bro yo og let me get a ch- ch- let me get a ch- ch- <laughs> yo get this dude out of here <laughs> i'm done with him bro he's cold but, bro. <laughs> yo, but okay where where were we so uh yeah Hey, hold on, yo. Starlight. Shout out, shout out to Huey. First of all, I don't know if y'all noticed that shit had me dying. Yo, when Vogelbaum opened the gate, this dude just went right over the roundabout. He just drove right oh. on top of the grass. No, that was Butcher. Oh yeah, Butcher. Who? Yeah, Butcher. Yeah, yeah, Huey. <laughs> I was, yeah, nah. Fuck yeah, Huey. Yeah, he just said, um, Butcher yeah, just went right over it. it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I noticed that on my rewatch. I noticed that too. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Butcher's. He said, "Fuck this guy's lawn." Yeah, fuck this guy's lawn. But no, speaking of Huey, I never thought the partnership between him and Lamplighter was going to be so good. Funny. That was so Bro. enjoyable. Can I we just the- give a quick shout out to the porn titles? Yes. Translucent and the Invisible Cock. <laughs> Queen Maeve, Pleasure Slave. <laughs> and my favorite, Big Black Noir. <laughs> Yo, they had one where it what was, was the um, deeps. What was the deeps one? Oh, I don't know. The first one. I forgot Something about, about the that. desert. Yeah. In the, yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was no, called in it the deep end. Yeah, I thought it was called in the deep or some shit like that. In the deep end or something like that. Something bad. But, something terrible. But there was one where it was uh, like a guy playing Homelander, like fucking another guy's wife. And yeah. it was like, yo, please don't let Billy watch that. <laughs> like, please don't let Home Billy banger. see that shit. Oh, oh shit. Man. Bro, but they made porn relevant, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> like, like <laughs> fucking <laughs> um, Lamplighter was talking about like how he's the cuck and he's like yeah no, you know, we're uh, here on the side I'm the cuck I'm here on the sideline yeah. while all the heroes are out there fucking the wife and then Huey throws it right back at him when he wants to convince him to help yeah, him yeah yeah he's like do you want to like, be the cuck or you yeah. want to fuck like, you want to you fuck the wife consensually <laughs> consensually yeah <laughs> let's, let's go fuck the wife consensually yeah like huey wife. was great huey was phenomenal was, this episode yeah, was i great, was like right. that that was that was a real funny scene and also moving around just fine after getting poked i know no, he started he bleeding, was bleeding. he started bleeding out oh, pay attention was? next time pay attention next time to the episode before you start making remarks like that. That's why people Word. don't like BVS because they don't pay attention. Yeah, yeah, I brought it up. It's been a while since we brought it up. <laughs> so what's up? All right. But, <laughs> but okay. Did any of y'all oh, see oh. Lamplighter <laughs> offer himself? Dude. Uh, I, 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 when, he, when he walked in, he was like, he was like, oh, I wanted to do it in front of my statue. I was, I was like, like, I knew it from there. I was like, oh, he's going to yeah, kill himself. I was like, like, he's either going to kill himself <laughs> or, 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 he he, might, or he's no. going to turn on Huey. I thought he was gonna burn the building or some shit. No, nah, he was talking statue. about he was talking about getting clapped. Yeah, That's he was about stupid. Yo, and I love how he was just like, "Fuck you, man." Yeah, he just like runs away. <laughs> yeah. Yo, but like, I Brian, I talked about this too. Like, he can he can produce fire, but he's not fireproof. Like, that's just so what? blunt. Yeah, it's like what remember, the fuck. Remember these these guys are made. They're not born like that. So there's gonna I be some it, discrepancies in, in the formula. And, and like also, it's fine, yeah. it's logical, but it's just like come it's not, on. It's like, not perfected yet. Yeah. Yeah. But here's perfected. the thing. I don't think he's dead. Um because yeah, I don't think Hopefully he's dead. has no hand. Well, I'm I, I'm not gonna spo- I'm not gonna sp- yeah, I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys. So I'm just gonna stay quiet, but I don't think he's dead. But he could very well be dead. But I don't yeah, think man. he is. Your math why, is wrong. Why, why do you not... You have to say why you don't think he's dead. Okay, so spoiler warning from the comics. <laughs> well, they don't so, follow the comics, so I'm chilling. They don't. You're right. So that's why I don't know if they're going to do this, but there's always a possibility. Like, he does come back. He does, I don't think he offs himself. I don't know what happens in the comics. I haven't read it. Um, but he does come back as, like, a mindless kind of, like, zombie. Like, he, he like... You know, he's like fucked up, but he does come back. So we'll see. They might go, and I hope they do. And I hope, him. But if and he's I a hope yeah. Uh, he was like I said, I don't know. To to a he was burnt to a yeah. fucking crisp. Yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll see how he died in the comics, and I'll bring it up next episode. But I just think why why get an actor like that for two episodes and not keep him going. You know, I mean, it's the boys again. Game Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones got Ian McShane for one episode. (laughs) He cooked and dipped and literally got clubs. They got fucking Ed Sheeran in Game of Thrones. One scene, 
Yeah, and people but, lost their minds about it. <sighs> I know. Parents. But okay, N- nonetheless, um, here we go. Saves the day, saves saves Starlight, and we see the redemption between and her the mom and, mom. and, and his mom. Yeah, <laughs> she mom. was like, "Is that a human hand?" He's like, "Yes." Why? Why? Yes, it is. Come on, we gotta go. It's like it literally. That's like the audience because he is the audience. He's like, "Yes, I'm fucking carrying a like, human I'm aware bird hand right, right this now." Same, right? Like yeah. I- I'm with you. Like I know I'm carrying but, a human hand. But right now's now. not the but time. We, <laughs> right now is not the time to like get all this going and. So yeah, before he saved Starlight, though, we need to talk about the ass whooping she was getting by Black Noir. Dude, I, I'm Black waiting for her Noir to like was whooping her. He out. sent he was, her, bro. Dude, yeah, I'm waiting was, for her to like kind of turn up. A moment. Yeah, she has not turned front to my theory, but I. She, but she um, has never had a moment really, like besides maybe the A train, the A train yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. A-train but like, moment. She, but I, I know she didn't have a moment where she was just well, like. Her power was a, a low key buzz. Butcher was right. It's just like. I'm like, ah, like you, ooh. And I mean, she'll clap me, obviously, but I'm a regular civilian. But like Homelander clapping her, Black Noir clapping her, Maeve, you saw you saw Maeve with the move. She said, bring that ass here, pull that mask up. Here's the almond joy in your mouth. Good night. Dope. Like she's she's mad tactical, mad quick, mad smart. Like Black Noir couldn't even out like outpower her. Oh, but, yeah, you know, speaking of Maeve, episode though? two, man. She had a sad ass episode. Why yeah, do Why maybe. do you think she uh, didn't want to go with Star uh, Light? Nah, Star she's taking, Girl. She's taking pic. She <laughs> she's taking pic. T- 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 oh she's, my god. She's, she's taking yeah, care again. of business. She's <laughs> taking care of business right there, right now. Like she's with like, Yo, when they get here, I'm clapping them. This is yeah. on site. She's like, I'm not waiting for a plan. I'm not. She's like, I'm through with this. You can she tell she was plan. done with it. I think she she's like, fuck that too. She's gonna be like, Yo, oh, you ah. think she's just ready to scrap? She's scrapping yeah. everybody. She, that's that's what it looks like because, nah, bro, you, how she just sorry, fucking sorry, took ahead, down Black Noir? No, no, like, Black Noir is gonna go back and like and like snitch, obviously, because he is snitching. Oh, she's compromised. She's if he's yeah, alive. she's compromised exactly. So she's like, it's a dub, like it's right. Me and you, but maybe she's gonna go. She's like, maybe she's getting her girl. What? Nah. Maybe she's going to her girl's house. Uh, no, bro, she she did all she's that. She's ready to fight. Like, her. Yeah. She's ready to fight. She's ready to go. She's like, I've had yeah. enough of you she, fucking she asshole. Want, she wants but hands. Feel, but, so, okay. So, like, right after that scene. She's doing her own thing. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want help. I think that's that's what it is. Yeah. In my so, that's why I think she's going to get clapped. That's why I think next episode, we're going to have to do a eulogy to uh, Queen Maeve. But Queen right, Maeve Elena, is sex slave. Like, yo, like, that scene with her and Elena where Elena's like, yo, like, all I've thought about was those kids on the plane, those people on the plane, you know, crying for your help and you didn't help them. And she's like, you don't, you don't fucking think that keeps me up at night too? And I'm, I'm just like, oh, I was there. Like, and you could tell she, deep down, she's a good person. It's just, she got caught up in some really, really fucked up shit. And unlike Starlight, who realized it early and was like, okay, I need to get out of here. Like, these are a bunch of assholes. Like, these are a bunch of, like, frauds, fucking lunatics. Right. You know, Maeve, unfortunately, didn't have that. Or, and, and not even that. It's because Starlight had the boys. Like, right. Maeve probably had that. nobody. She, she was alone. Nobody. She was alone. She lost everything. So, and then I love that scene where, she, where <laughs> you know, she... She was in bed with those two guys. You know, she was just <laughs> she was just lighting it up, and and fucking Ashley comes in and she's like, Ashley, can you for once in your goddamn life just be human? Be and I love how being. Ashley was because even Ashley is just like, and to, I feel bad for Ashley because she's fucking scared for her life too. Homelander would like could snap her neck at any yeah. moment. Like her pen, her pencil breaks, like boom, she could die. So and she was like, I'm so sorry. And I, I like that moment because normally Ashley just all like chaotic and crazy, but they had like sort of that moment of, of you know, like being human. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like for once, like, you know, I know we both know the fucking shit that goes on here. Can we just not right now, please? Because she's like, you're supposed to be this, this, you know, uh, lesbian like yeah, queen. Lesbian, like, and yeah. she's like, dude, dude, stop. Just please, just please fucking stop. So I think at that moment, right. And then, so yeah. I don't. I don't know, man. I I feel I feel bad, but I do think she's gonna get clapped. But we don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens. She getting clapped. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, On that note, <laughs> what do you think about MM and uh, Grace? Their little conversation that 
you know, after Vogelbaum kind of said, um, you know, sometimes doing the right thing isn't, you know, the right thing, isn't what's best. You know, talking about, like, keeping his daughter and shit. Mm. And then Grace kind of was, like, spitting bars at M.M. about his, you know, because he still yeah, got a wife to, and a daughter. Yeah, family, yeah. Right? And he was She's like, this like, never ends. She's like, this is never going to end. Like, it's just, just going to keep on going on. And it's true because, you know, and he was like, nah, when this is done, she's like, but that's the thing. Like, it's, it's, it's going to be yeah. more. You know, and yeah, she has I, experience. I, uh-huh. So, like, she's been yeah. doing it forever. Yeah, and I think it all ties back into the the you know the the pop storyline um, that we've been having going on this episode, where you know he lost his father because of Vaught, and right. he's trying to you know he's trying to avenge his dad, and but but um, what's it called? Uh, Mallory's just like, dude, like you still have a kid too. Like they need like she needs her dad. You know, so so it's like there's no She's, difference in in you know your pops you know being gone in terms of passing away and in terms of you just not being there for her like at all like you're still alive but you're not present in her life so and, it's like go and, home like ha- spend time with your family I'll, I'll, she was like yo all things any anything you got a clean record I'll send you the fuck out and that's it nobody ever find you hear from you yeah never hear from you again he was like I'll take you up afterwards like you said Brian but we'll see. And if he dies, I mean, like, who do you think the child is going to focus in what? on? Like, exactly. And then the yeah, cycle so just repeats, a, repeats itself. Cycle. Yeah, yeah, the cycle cycle right. repeats itself. Someone Very needs good to, point. Exactly. Someone needs to be able to step away and let somebody else kind of handle it. But, I mean, it's so hard because it's like, they feel like, you know, if I don't do this, who will? Yeah. Like, it's like, like it's, it's so a, tough because it's not like there's a whole line of other recruits. Uh, you know, oh, just oh, waiting. Oh, you want to be a boy? Nobody fucking... Here. Yeah. Boy? Nobody fucking... <laughs> be a boy? Nobody, nobody believes... Like, nobody would believe half the shit they say. You know what I mean? Like, it's like... It's such a tough position. Like, because, like, they're like, yo, like, at the same time, I also want to make the world a better place for my daughter. And yeah, even whether exactly. or not I'm, I'm alive to see it, if I can... She'll live in a, she'll that, live in a, in a vault-free yeah. world. Yeah, exactly. With no vault land and a homelander roller coaster. Oh, my right. God. Like, the, like yeah. Vault no. is is Disney, basically. <laughs> Yo, Mark, so, did you notice his uh, movie titles? A Brightest Day. Yeah, darkest Brightest Day. day. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was Brightest Night, Darkest Bright. Day or some shit. It was the opposite. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Home home like that. yeah just a play, play on uh, the Green Lantern Oath, essentially. Yeah, yeah. that was cool. So, so that was dope. Guys, let, let's take a, a, a quick break and then we'll get back uh, talking about talking about the episode. We are back. Yeah. So yeah, y'all. Um, kind of just... An- another thing I wanted to bring up was the relationship between um, Kamiko and Frenchie. Frenchie. And they're, they're getting their shit. Um, you know, she, she taught him his first word in her sign language, in Kamiko's sign language. Gun. Gun. Fitting, a fitting, a fitting word to start to start off I know, with. Right? Well, I think it's more just along the lines, like if necessary, like in a fight, you know. Right. She can also there was a gun right there. Yeah, right. <laughs> she so, don't even use guns. Like she just uses her fucking hands. Yeah, she got the hands. She do got the hands. I hope we see more. Like we hope we see another dope fight scene with her. Cause... I think you're gonna say I hope we see more of her hands. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, look oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in a way, but yeah, I, I love how their relationship is evolving. It's finally not just like him constantly reaching out and her not giving back. Um, now she's like finally opening up to him. Um, it, and it could be a lot, you know, to fill the void of, you know, losing her brother. And he's and he's just been there the whole way with her. You know, he's been completely just trying to understand her better and, and really... Even though he is, we see he does sort of want something physical. Like, it's more sentimental, I feel, with, with Frenchie and Kamiko, you know? But nonetheless, I, I'm glad we got our first... Frenchie learned his first word. Gun, gun. sign language. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, Brian, you, you brought up a good point off air where it's like, um, you know, Mallory, you know, forgave him as well because she was just like, you know, don't don't leave your post this time. And, yeah, she gave you know, him that second kept, chance. Yeah, hundred percent. And you know, Matt Mallory's a dope character. Um, I, I yeah. absolutely love her. Um, I, a I think bit, a she's... bit too forgiving to to be considered not to get clapped because she's. I agree. I see what you mean. Yeah, you know uh, what I, I mean. I do have that feeling that she's gonna get clapped she, too. Yeah, I she, feel like anytime she, somebody helps or attempts to help the boys, it always ends up going to shit. And she also has like really nothing. She like in her life, 
she's really all she's oh, doing. Nothing left to lose. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Like no, I, I agree with that 100. percent It sucks um, to say. I'm nervous for Obviously. her too. There's a couple people I'm nervous for. She's on that list. So number one is still Queen Maeve that I'm nervous for. I think she's gonna get clapped. Two, it will probably be Mallory. Or yeah, Mallory. I don't really I don't really I don't think Ryan's gonna get clapped. And I, I could care less about Ryan, but <laughs> I know that's my bad. Oh, and born? Becca. And Becca. And Becca's uh, oh. third. Um oh shout out. I also wanted to shout out um her acting in that episode. Chantel Van Sa- Van Santine, uh Becca Butcher, phenomenal. Great acting when she was begging uh, Homelander and when like Stormfront came and how she was just like, yo, I love how like she puts her foot down though. Like these are suits. Yeah. She was like, I need to speak to you. He's like, right now is not a good time. She's like, also, you're, she's like, you're going yeah. outside right now. Yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> and and so Homelander's like, fuck. I that think it's like, a good idea. That sounds like a great idea. idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Like, He's yo, still Storm, runs, and Stormfront And Stormfront <laughs> like looked at him like, Word? Like, like what? She got, like her pools is like that too. <laughs> like wow, like you're Yo, walling chill, right chill, now. Chill. Like you're walling. Like, but that, but again, it just goes to show his vulnerability with women. This dude is just such a put. Like, no, like, well, I mean that just push him that, around. I don't think he loves her at all. I think it's no, he more doesn't. So- but I'm saying, like, again, I think it's just the story arc of his story of just women just. Having I, like power over him, and also remember that if anything happens to Ryan, Becca will clap herself. Yeah, it don't matter yeah, now. It now, that, matter now. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like that—that's the only reason why she was like, okay, you know, who was no. Okay, but if outside. she, but even still, if she kills herself, that's gonna affect Ryan to a degree. Not if he never knows. So I think <laughs> I think they're they're gonna wait to see how much he really hates her in a sense. Like, at least Homelander. Stormfront's using her, as we discussed earlier. I mean, using him, as we discussed earlier, to get his blood. But I think yeah. Homelander's going to try maybe, and see... Maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Of course, theory. But, um, right? She just ends up adopting him. Like, she, like, actually loves him, and they become one, like, big happy family, and that's it. Big happy um, Nazi family? Lit. Yeah. But, no, like, I think he's going to have to wait and see, right? Like, how much. Like, he's going to be like, hey, so, like, how much do you hate your mom, really? Like, like a little? Is it like, oh, like, I'll forgive her? Or is it like, nah, fuck that bitch. I want her dead. And then as soon as Ryan gives the word, that's when, when they'll Ryan try and kill, kill her Ryan off. kills Becca? Ooh, that would fucking. Nah, That'd because be then wild. then that I mean, would, that would make, Butcher yeah. would really wild out. Yeah, Butcher would be like, yo, she stayed for that motherfucker, so I'm like. I'm mm-hmm. killing everybody, and it's on sight. I don't know how he was doing this. That was sight. really dumb of her to stay. You know why? Because even though it would have been even riskier for her to, uh, for her to leave with Billy, mm-hmm. it, he, I feel like Ryan still would have been in better hands in a sense because maybe Billy would have gotten over it, and maybe he would have given in and just been like, okay. Maybe I can. Nah, I but can we, we discussed it. Like he was gonna find, and like she, she said it, and he didn't deny it. He was gonna find a yeah. way to get rid of him. Yeah. Like he does not fuck with soups. He does not like soups. Um. So yeah, and, and he said it like, dude, like a billion dollar, like that guy or that kid, is uh like their little golden. Goose kind of thing, you know? Like right. They yeah. He's the grand prize. Right. He's a little, right. He's a like little science cannot, experiment. You cannot take him away. Like it's like if you take him away, all of Lot is going to come after you. No mm-hmm. questions asked. So like let's let us let us talk about this. Let's talk about the main event. Let's talk about what happened. Because we, we touched over it. People know what happened, but let's let's break it down. We get to the courtroom, right? And major BVS vibes of Superman entering the court, <laughs> yeah. courtroom. Um and then the grand juror. His head gets fucking oh, you know, goodbye. You His or, head goes. <laughs> and then the boys are just like, um, what? The entire time. And from from Bruh. that moment, Bruh. I was like, right. I was like, oh no. I was like, here we go again. I was like, here we go. This, of course. Vogelbond's head, kaboosh, and then. Everyone starts getting kaput. Yeah, Even the, fucking um, the dude that was gonna re- oh replace Brian. Adrian. This goes to your point more. The dude that was supposed to replace A Train in the seven, his head gets blown up. 
So it goes, it feeds to your theory that the church could be behind it. Bruh. He fixes his glasses. <laughs> He's like, uh, He's like you know, um, yeah, that's exactly why I said that. <laughs> So he was just waiting for us to pick up the dots, you know. Do you connect the Ashley, dots? Ashley, I can't in spoon that scene. feed you everything. Yeah, hey, no, I know. Oh, <laughs> I know. so that's what it is. Brian wrote the episode, bro. He, <laughs> he is Zack Snyder, bro. He won't spoon feed us shit, bro. <laughs> Tell you, ever since I got these so, glasses, <laughs> some different. He's not explaining different. anything anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. But a- Ashley was us in the moment. She was just like, "What the fuck is going on?" She literally pulled, um. Oh, uh, what's his name from Doom Patrol? Cliff. The Cliff from Doom Patrol. Like, what the fuck is going on? And so a lot of people were discussing, and I want to know what you guys thought about it. Did Homelander and Stormfront know no. what was happening? No, no they're, 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 they're just they looking were, around like, oh, I guess we're not I dying because everybody else is playing shook. club. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of people I saw were like, oh, like they're, they obviously knew what was going on. But to me, I'm like, uh, their expressions say otherwise. They're sort of just like, huh. Yeah, or at least Homelanders. Homelanders, Homelanders more than Stormfront. Yeah, it was just straight up confusion on Homelanders' face. He was yeah, just he was looking like, around like this, like, oh. <laughs> Yo, oh. I, lo- I love how the was, was like, like, the deep was like, oh, the deep is yo. stupid, bro. <laughs> he was low key like, one of my favorite characters. Like, <laughs> too, too much fresca. He's a piece of shit, yeah. but he is hilarious. Who, yeah. the deep? Yeah. 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 Well, but you saw but, Homelander? He was low key, like, yo, this is kind of dope. Like, I wonder who else is going to die. He's just like looking around. Right. That was him. He's like the guessing People game. People slipping on like, brains. I'm glad um, Mallory nor uh, Victoria Newman played by Claudia Dumit. Is that what it was? Dum- Dumit? Dumit. 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 Okay. Perfect. I think it's Dumit. Dumit. So shout out to her because uh, she's also been fantastic in, you know, the couple episodes that she's been in. Um, and like her look of expression when she was on the ground, she was like, Oh fear. my god! Fear. Yeah, she was like, "My next, like." I was and Mallory like, was just like, "Get up! Like, let's go! Let's." She had the like, same she's expression. Like, Fucking that, move! Yo, she, and, had, and, she was shook like how 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 Huey was when uh, yes when they went through the whale. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it was, and, right? And, just and like, shout man, out to Mallory fuck. for fucking keeping a level head and being like, "Yo, we got to get her out of here!" Like, yeah. yeah. So shout out to her. That was clutch. And like, I mean. So we 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 said in the beginning who our theories are that could be popping heads, um, but and now going back a little bit to talking about the church and breaking that down because we get that scene where it's the the head guy's uh, birthday, right? Um, let me try try and find his character name because I I forgot it. Um, uh, Jamie. Ariel, is it Jamie? Oh, my God. oh but okay. Oh, so my bad. The, I'm Jamie. My bad. Oh oh, I'm like. <laughs> I thought his name was Jamie in the show. Stop calling him Jamie. Um, I'm not calling him Jamie. I'm not saying Ariel's Jamie. I'm just like saying. Yo, oh. Jamie. Fucking dumb. Fuck. Okay. What's his name? All right. Whatever his name is. The main guy from um, the church? Bro, yes. Who gives a fuck, bro? Everyone's going to know who we're talking about. We really need to say Oh, my name. God. That name is like really like on the tip of my tongue. It's oh, like, Alistair? Uh, is it yes. Alistair? Yes, that is Alistair it. Donna. Thank you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Alistair. Yeah, Alistair. Right, really? Is it, how do you pronounce it, Ariel? Alistair. Al- Alistair. Alistair. Okay. Alistair. Alistair. So, I would say Alistair. <laughs> Alistair. 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 Adana, Star? right? It was, his, it was his birthday. So, they're celebrating. They have the deep there. They got their new recruit A train. They got the frescas. Got a um, new goldfish. <laughs> new goldfish, right. And, oh, yeah, yeah A train. <laughs> Got the deep a, a goldfish. He's like, oh, he knows my name. Like he knows who I am. Um, <laughs> but right, so they're talking about Eagle the Archer and how Eagle the Archer was like on the news. He's like, yeah, bro. Like I, I wasn't gonna cut my mama Dukes off, and like they, they cut me off because of it. And so they made they, they gave him bad press because obviously they have all this dirt on him, like they have on all their other members because they're a fucking bitch ass cult. But nonetheless. You know, they ask, and we that funny ass scene where they ask the deep, like, "Oh, how do you how do you feel about him?" So, like, oh, you know, we really bonded. Like, that's my brother. Like, we're two. Like, that's my guy. And then he was like, "Nah, well, you're cutting all communications off. He's a fucking snake. He's two faced." <laughs> and the deep's like, "Oh, now you mentioned it. Yeah, he was very toxic." Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. Right? He's <laughs> like, "What the fuck?" So that's the fresca magic working on him. And although it slightly seems like it's working it's on fresca magic. Like A Train, you saw at the end, like he kind of gave that look, like, 
Like, this yeah, so Mark brought up a good point. It kind of seems like maybe A Train isn't drinking the Fresca or he's just yeah. not buying the bullshit, obviously. Right. He or, could be drinking it and it's just not that's a good like, thing, phasing though. him. Yeah, yeah. Cause maybe he has a faster metabolism, so he needs to drink more of it for it to take but, effect. And also, we got to remember, <laughs> this guy went we gotta, hard. yeah, we got to remember he has a meeting with Stan next episode. So we, we're we in for a, a, a treat. Uh, and I, I think Brian might be right. Brian might be right. And the more and more I think about it, I think the church has a lot more to, to give. And I think they're going to end up being a huge part of season three. Um, so, so let's see where they go with that. But all right, guys, what, what, what are some predictions for, for this next episode? For the all Friday? right, yeah. What, what are we, what are we going to see? What do we want to see? What do we don't want to see? What's going on? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> like at all? No. You got I nothing think, for us? I, 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 I do think. It's time for you to talk. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you go talk. ahead, Mark. Cook. You talk, you talk. Go ahead. No, Mark, go. Talk. All right, fine. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I do. I do. Now that we're talking about it more, I do think Brian's theory holds more water than mine. Just having the church being involved and stuff. So, um, I do think that that meeting is going to be. I think that's the like the scene if if they show it or whatever. However, they choose to go about it, which I I don't know why they wouldn't show it. But, oh, yeah. Uh, they wouldn't but, just bring that up and not show the meeting. Right. Yeah. Um, I forgot about that. But I think that's going to be the scene that most of us, that, that's going to be like, okay, like other than all of the other bloody shit, but like in terms yeah. of dialogue, yeah, that's like, probably going to be yeah. what the fuck in terms of like like information that's being shared to the audience. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. that's going to be the, the the moment we're all talking about on Saturday. Yeah. So the church um, knows a lot about um, Vaught and their individual like yep. right. Superheroes. Yeah, no, think, about think about it. How the hell did he know about that shit with A Train? Without okay, yeah, being there, his, maybe the compound Stand. V thing. But how does he know yeah. about the debt? How does he know yeah. about you know? Uh, it's, it's interesting. I mean, they they are making plays. The they only are. thing I could think of as to why, um, if it is the church and why they blew up the first girl's head, I keep forgetting her name. What's her Boy, name? Vaught. Uh, uh, Oh wait! Oh, oh uh, Rainer, Rainer, FBI Rainer. Agent Rainer, yeah. Yeah, it was because she was gonna kind of. Maybe that would lead. Maybe to, they weren't ready yet. No, like, maybe that would lead to. Uh, no, it was Sage just gonna Grove. fuck the plans up. Oh okay. Oh What's, Sage Grove, you're saying? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> like them kind of figuring out about that, and I think maybe the church wants to protect that part too, as well as like Vought's, um, like power. Like they don't want Vought to lose their power, as well. Uh-huh. Right, right. They're they're just in a dirty like, in dirty negotiations with one another. Yeah. Um, like and said, in order they to just killed the boys too. I don't understand why. Uh, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Right. Uh, and sort of like, what I'm expecting is sort of how what we touched upon throughout the podcast, where, um, like Maeve Maeve's confrontation. Um, I think we'll probably get Cindy. They'll show Cindy again. Um, because again, she could probably be behind the the head explosions. We don't know. Man, uh, she, we'll definitely see the meeting. Strength. Yeah, <laughs> she's like she's like that dude from uh, SpongeBob that was chasing them down for the chocolates. She's like, finally, <laughs> she finally got to bought. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> oh, but <God. laughs> um, yeah, I, I think we're in for a fucking like. If we thought these last episodes were and and Anthony Starr put posted today. He was like, yeah, I just was watching the finale. Yeah, yeah. And he was just like, this is Fuck. crazy. Like, yeah. And if we remember, like, last last season finale was, was insane. Yeah, like, it ended, it was ended insane. With, with Stillwell getting clapped. It ended with... By Butcher Homelander. Getting, by Homelander. And then Butcher getting dropped. Finding out his wife is still alive. Yeah. The yeah. Kid. Getting disrespected. Yeah. And I was like, damn. So imagine this one. This one's gonna be like A Train had a heart attack. Damn. Like, a Train had a heart attack. I think guys, no, his leg was broken already earlier in the season. Yeah, but yeah, a lot but of it's insane. Law got clapped. A bunch of people died. That wasn't the finale though. No, it wasn't. But it, <laughs> he's just reminiscing on the he's just reminiscing <laughs> on the greatness of season one. But yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're like, like we said, y'all, we're going to do 
a review uh, the day of on Friday night. Um, we're going to post it Friday night, so make sure to tune into that, um, our reactions to it. Obviously, if you watched it, watch the review. And I mean, if you don't care about spoilers, but me personally, I wouldn't watch a review of the finale if you haven't seen it because a lot of crazy shit is going to happen. Because the math is wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, it like, hey, don't get me wrong. If you're that type of person, go right ahead. Um, have but a, have spoiler worse. <laughs> yeah, have a fresca. Have, have an a almond fresca. joy. Have a fresca and an almond joy. Um, and then we will be doing a podcast uh, Saturday morning as well, uh, breaking it down instead right. of just you know in wandering. person. In person, Tony Star is gonna be there. Jack Quaid's gonna now. M M is La- gonna be La- there. Lanz Alonzo. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, y'all, um, uh, maybe just some news that just dropped today just to kind of, um, finish this one off, uh, for y'all. So Dune, I just, it was posted a couple hours ago, but I'm just seeing it now for the first time, which I'm upset about. It's getting pushed to October 1st of 2021st. And for those who don't know, that is the same date as Robert Pattinson's The Batman. So meaning Robert oh Pattinson's birthday. The Batman is 99% there's a 99% chance of getting pushed back. Mark got so when, it again. So when, we don't know. Most likely 2022 because they'll want Dune to have a prolonged run at the box office. So That means yeah, that that we're movie tight. costs a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> we're tight. We're tight. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really upset about that, actually. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely like... Hey, because it got pushed back time, already. It's getting put back again. I'm fine with it. If they Take need more time... time exactly. Like, time with it, I'm more with Junior. Production. I'm fucking yeah, tired. Nah, because the thing is, they don't need more time. They're going to it? have more time. How do you what know? do you mean? They're pushing 25%. this back because of COVID reasons. They're not okay. pushing it back because of right. production reasons. The, yeah, it's not, but that's still a production reason. It's also production hazard. I'd rather them take their no, time with course. it. No, of course. No, I'm, I agree. But if this was not a COVID season, these movies would be coming out at the time they're supposed to be coming out. That's yeah. what upsets me. That's what. Oh, I mean, you're not about. you're not upset at the studio for pushing it back. You're more upset. No, of course the, not. Like of the course, reason. It's logical. It's of logical. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm just upset that we have to be going through this fucked up world right now. Right. And I mean, I, obviously, like obviously, I'm getting upset about the movie. Well, I'll hug the you. Million, all the millions do it have died. Like that's one thing. But I'm talking about from our perspective and looking at it is from a uh, entertainment perspective. Right. Of, of course. course. But, yeah, because this yeah, is yeah. bored. <laughs> we need shit, bro. But you guys go into the it, movie theater for that? If it, if it, for what? Or what? If, if, it, if Batman released right now, would you guys go to the movie theater for that? No, nah, I'm good. I'm okay, love. Enjoy. Yeah, I'm good, love. Enjoy. <laughs> Have a fresco. Bro, an hour 30 to drive to the theater? Like, come on, man. For the uh, Batman? Yeah, for the Batman. For the Batman? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with a full. You're bugging. I'd, I'd go. You'll pull up in a whole hazmat suit and be uncomfortable for two hours? If I had to wear a hazmat suit, yeah. No, I'm good, um, I'm, I'm chilling with a mask, see, though. I'm trying to see if any other news... I, I think that's it. We got our first look at um, The Witcher Season 2 today, like a, a look at... Um, oh, I his, forgot that was happening. His suit, which looks dope. Um, and that's about, that's about it, y'all. Uh, so, yeah, Friday's a big day. Saturday's a big day, so stay tuned. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Chillin' with Villains underscore. Subscribe, like, comment, and fuck you, Eunice. <laughs> fuck you, Eunice. Have a fresca. Have a fresca. <laughs> and an almond joy. Almond joy.